Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria and I like doing all kind of beauty videos. And today's video is going to be about a hair tool that's gaining um, a lot of popularity in the beauty community these days. And I want to give you my review on, on this product. I'm also going to show you how I use it in this video. So we're going to talk today about this hair straightening brush um, by the brand Amica. I got it a couple years ago at Sephora. They still sell it. The new version looks a little bit different. It has two red lines on the sides. Um, it retails for $120, so it's not the cheapest, not the most expensive hair tool, but it's a bit different than just a regular straightener. It looks different, it works different, it gives you different results too. So um, I'm going to share with you how I used it on my just washed hair and I have very dry wavy coarse hair and um, also I made a video how I, I did, used it on my second day hair when it was already straightened by this tool but I had to retouch it. So I usually have to do it and um, not, not all the time but if I want a more polished look I have to retouch my hair especially if I take a shower or something like that. I live in a dry climate so it's kind of good for my hair because I don't have to use so much heat <laughs> but I still have to do something with my hair every time I wash it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. After you see how I use this tool I'm gonna tell you my opinion about it and give you my review, tell you pros and cons and um, if I like it or not. That's what my hair looks air dried. I just washed it. Um, put some smooth infusion by Avida Nourishing Styling Cream. That's what I like to use on my wet hair. It's pretty much right out of the shower. I put it and then I put the Avida Volumizing Tonic into my roots to get a little bit of a lift. And you have to use um, blow dry to activate it. So that's all I did. And um, I used this L'Oreal um, heat protectant. So now we're gonna brush the hair a little bit. I'm gonna suction it. They always need to suction the hair. Hi. My little girl is here with me. So I got our Amica straightener and um, I like using it from the bottom. So just like that. Go hold the ends. Oh, I grabbed too much here. I hold the ends and I just run it through from the bottom. Like How? so. And that's what is left. Okay. Uh, the back is harder to do. Okay, thank you. So I'm gonna do from the bottom, I mean from the side. And with coarse hair, sometimes it's better to get uh, smaller sections, probably with any type of hair, but especially with coarse hair because it needs more uh, work. <laughs> Got the second section of my hair, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab a smaller piece here and go from the side. Okay. With my hair, sometimes I have to go slower with a flat iron or this brush to get the effect that I want. And I also like you can curl a little bit the bottoms. You can you do have to pull your hair down a little bit. Um, so it's easier to, to work with this brush, otherwise the hair will fall out like this. Well, I'm just going to run it from the top. Oh. Okay. 
If you um, can work around brushing your hair really well when you blow dry it, you will be able to use this pretty good. I'm not that good with a round brush. I never blow dry my hair that way because uh, it just always gets tingled in the brush. <laughs> Touch-ups later, and I'm going to focus on my front and my like bang pieces. Um, I do it this way. I'm going to show you. So I always style them forward around, so they're going to lay around my face that way. Let it dry, not dry, cool down, sorry. <laughs> cool down. Put it to the side. Usually the main part that I see when it comes to my hair. Okay. I'm gonna cool it down this way. They stay kind of close to my face that way, and that's the look I always try to achieve. So this is the finished result. I'm using Amiga uh, styling brush on my fresh out of the shower hair, and I'm gonna finish it up with a hair serum from Trader Joe's, shea butter and coconut oil. Just one pump. Great oil, inexpensive, and it gives you amazing shine. Concentrating on my ends, that needs the most moisture, and on my flyways, kind of weigh them down, the way I see them. Day two, and this is my hair from yesterday. Just gonna spray the heat protectant. Just doing the same things I did yesterday, and I think it's gonna take us less time. flyaways on top of my head uh, using this brush because I'm not putting the heat on top so uh, less hair gets this heat on top and I see some flyaways but I get way more if I use a straightening iron um, this is great for me because I do not like flyaways and I always struggle to bring them down so that's definitely a big plus so now after you saw how I use this product, I want to tell you my opinion about it. Overall, I'll say I'm very happy with it. 
and I think I should use more this product because I do like the way my hair look after I use it. I have more body to my hair. It looks more natural straight than just slick um, like after hair straightener. Um, and uh, yeah, I should like it more than I have been since I bought it. If you already have a straightener, I would say it's good to have this brush too and use it as a touch up uh, on the second or third day after you wash your hair so you don't have um, to straighten your hair with a hair straightener. I also like that it gives me less flyaways, probably because I use it from the bottom of my hair. When you use a hair straightener, you have to put it in between two hot blades. So that's a big plus for me. It heats up very fast, not a deal breaker, but it's still good. It goes to a high temperature, 450, which is, I think, very hot, and um, I would not put more heat on my hair. So this is pretty hot for me. That's what I used in the video, 450 degrees. But if you have already straight, slick hair, I would say use less temperature, less hot. And um, the temperature is adjustable, so you can go to a lower temperature. A big plus about this brush is, um, at least with me, when I straighten my hair with a regular straightener, I use the brush first and then I put the straightener and go this way. Well, with this brush, you don't have to do this because it's two in one. What you have to do is brush your hair through first, kind of smooth it out a little bit and then go with this, product, with this tool. So yeah, I think it's pretty good uh, tool. I haven't tried other brands. If you have tried, please let me know which ones you like and what you think about them. And if you tried this one, also let me know what you think about it. So that's it for the video today. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Please always like, comment, and I would like for you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my other social media on Instagram. Uh, I have the same name, Victoria T. IRL. I share a lot of um, outfits of the day, my opinion about beauty products on my Instagram, and just my everyday life with my kids, with my family. So, yes, let's be friends on social media, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!